five years and I'm going to go through a few things with this board that can cause a bit of an issue um, or actually can cause quite a big issue so the first thing is this is a version 4 Gerbil board for an Arduino Nano and there's a lot of design flaws with this the way this is actually um, rigged up now the first one is that this board takes a if we can zoom in there and flip it around takes a max 20 so you can actually put 24 volts into this board so here that says 24 volts Let's see if I can get a better picture of that there we go so max in 24 volts so this 24 4 volt board but this point here is 12 volts max now if you look you can just about see some writing here and that writing if you took this off it would actually say 12 volts max on there so if you stick 24 volts into here because this board is specified for 24 volts you can actually blow the internal regulator on the actual Arduino because they actually connect up together and that's I believe um, is actually at 7 to 12 volts so that's got a max 12 volts so that marries up there so if you actually try to put 24 volts in into this one here you're going to actually blow stuff on your Arduino um, the other thing is the board comes with as you see as you actually has, has uh, three of these um, these are what are these by the wall they are these are a a something um can't find the number number of them uh these are there we go a4988 drivers so these these ones a4988 drivers and they come with the board so this comes under around ten dollars 12 pounds or 12 euros in that really cheap comes equipped all equipped and but you've got these flaws with it and you notice that also it doesn't come with a jumper here to jump the power and perhaps that's because of the safety reasons because of it being a 24 volt board um to 24 volt board um, and the actual different powers are divided so any power you put in here goes to the Arduino as well as well as the motors but if you want the higher power then you place the 24 volts in here um, if you're using 12 volts you'll need a jumper to go on to here so that's you'll need to get by a jumper or you just get which comes with any starter kit or, or you can purchase this themselves just one of these these uh, wires which I use to jump to jump this here so you just place that onto onto those points here and that jumps the power over um, another thing is is that the micro steppers come without um, again jumpers and you can try micro stepping on here but you won't it won't actually work because there is let me just give my fingers out the front of the lens there because micro stepping there's a fault on the board that stops that from working so if you turn it over and here's your micro step so you need five volts to actually go to whatever jumpers you've set on here so each, each jumper jumps five volts over and you can see that these are all connected up together and this rail comes down here to here and here which is if you look on the board those two there let's just look in there which are ground not five volts so that's the same for all of these for all these along here they're all ground ground voltages 
So to actually get these to work, you have to hook those into the five volts, um, a five volt point for those to work. Um, so no matter what, at the moment, if you don't do that mod, no matter what micro stepping you've, you've connected up on here, it will never work. Other quirks with this board, challenges, if you might want to call them more plain design flaws, is that the um, pinouts here don't tally with certain pinouts across the um, for the step for the directions to step so there is a mod that you need to do in your when you upload the code to this in the actual um the Arduino id itself there's uh when you download the latest gerbil uh gerbil or grbl uh, whatever you want to call it um source code to actually get this to run you need to change the cpu map to change those pins and I can show you that in in my other video I've got another video of actually actually configuring this up and that'll explain how to do it it's, it's, it's only changing I think it's six um, parts in the actual uh, code itself in the CPU map before uploading it but you must remember each time you actually go to upload the, the new version of uh, GRBL to this that you need to actually change those because they're obviously not going to be in that, that program itself. It doesn't actually hurt the board for running the program but you just won't get the results that you need. Um, other than that, um, also if you're buying this board with its design flaws it more than likely will come with a cloned Arduino as well and you can see this one come with it and straight away I can see this as a clone because this port here is put on lopsided and you wouldn't get that bad quality with an original Arduino. Um, all in all it, the board works nicely. Um, it's a good starter board uh, but it needs a bit of tweaking before you actually do anything with it. Um, just remember that but this one is the main one. Also, watch out for each power supply that I found for this. The I'm not sure if it's the board or power supplies I'm using, but I had to actually swap over the, the actual negative and positive. So the line that's marked as the positive is actually connects to the, the uh, negative of this. Positive is, let me have a look. Yep, so that there, I believe, is... Yeah, because it goes to the jumper. Jump here, so positive is here. So positive is actually at the end. And negative, or ground, sorry, uh, ground is uh, is here. So all the actual power supplies I've found is that... <laughs> I found that those have been switched. I'm not sure if it's a power supply or the board, but just watch out for that because otherwise you'll burn out this, which I've shown in another video, which I've done before, burn this line out here, and I had to jump um, this power to the actual uh, powering down. Where is it? What? VCC? That's the one. So I'd actually put a, a jumper in into, into here so I could actually get the power to the board. Um, yeah, so lots of, uh, there's lots of uh, tweaks that you can do with this board to get it running, but it won't run out of the box. Um, a lot of people are actually put wires on here to fix the micro step in and also wires to actually reroute the correct pins on the Arduino so they don't have to actually change the CPU map in the code each time they upload it. Um, but yeah, it's a, it's, it can be a bit fiddly because the board's quite small. But yeah, so how these come onto the market with all these faults, I don't know. But um, I'm not sure that it's with all the balls, but I've had three so far and they've all had the same problems. Um, 
and on, if you look on the net, other people will say about the problems themselves as well. So, so just to let you know about these boards, and uh, good luck with these. They do work, they work fine, and uh, yeah, I'll leave you with that.